hey you guys so i'm back at it again <laughs> i'm sorry this is part two it had really just cut off because of my alarm and i didn't want to edit out together so it's gonna be a part one then it's gonna be a part two and so basically to me what that card is saying like y'all need to go on a healing journey and y'all need to go because a lot of us are healed in the collective and a lot of us are just needing to become more aware of the healing that we have done and a lot of us need to actually step into this new healing journey meaning when i say step into this new healing journey it's just like you understand the difference between your shadow versus your higher self you understand the difference between your higher self your shadow your inner child you know you understand and you have a new sense of you but you have to get familiar with this new sense of you you can't go back to your past because it's familiar with you you can't go back to your past just because your present is unfamiliar you just get more familiar with your presence you just get more familiar with this new sense of self you get more familiar with okay I can't talk to myself like that no more. Oh, I can't do that because that was in the past. Like me, I know dang well I can't put on both of my headphones and then journal because that's a old sense of me. That's how I used to I used to get I used to get happiness from sadness and I can no longer do that anymore. So I need to get happiness from moving around, from dancing, maybe even from being on TikTok for like 10 or 15 minutes. It's just like I need to get happy in new ways and in new forms and i need to get better communicative with myself on being like are you sad right now or are you just not understanding what emotion is going on so right now it's just we don't know if this is from an old wounding or we don't know if this is from a present wounding so it's being more aware of your own emotional feelings and getting more familiar with this new person that is you at this present moment the problem isn't that you're not healed the problem is that you're not using what you have learned throughout all of these years to understand yourself better to develop yourself better to be one with yourself better you just have to allow yourself to be more aware and you need to be more uh, conscious and have a higher perspective of the things that's going on at this time so if you're feeling a sad feeling instead of sitting there and just being like life's just tough life is suck nothing's moving sit there and just be like oh wait i'm sad because i created a safe enough space within myself to feel the old wounds of my past self to feel the wounds of the things that i was running from at the time because i didn't have a safe enough space to actually sit there and evaluate why i was in so much pain we have to come into a level of understanding that healing is here and healing is now and we are healed we just have to transmute that energy now we have to learn to turn it into a positive perspective so if you feel like nothing is moving don't say nothing is moving just be like dang i'm at a, such a peaceful state that i can finally slow down and figure out me i can finally slow down and be one with me i can finally slow down and look at nature and allow nature to take away the negativity that i once had and transmute it into something positive we have to change our perspective on how we're living at this time you are healed baby you know the answers you know what you aware of especially if you're watching me you know what you're aware of the problem isn't that you're not aware of it the problem is you're so stuck in a mental entrapment but emotionally physically and spiritually you're out of everything and anything that can hurt you but mentally you're trapped in something because you're so used and you're so familiar with worrying about stuff you're so familiar with worrying about who you are you're so familiar about worrying about the next time that you're gonna get your meal the next time you're gonna pay these bills the next time this happening the next time somebody is coming after you and it's like you don't have to worry anymore you just need to be more aware of your thoughts and you need to be more aware of the intrusive thoughts per se but you just need to be more reassuring that's the word you need to be more reassuring and reaffirming of the truth that you already know are you are creating within this timeline you just need to bring more comfort to yourself yeah but that <laughs> that to me is what the card is saying that to me is what this whole reading is about that to me is what god has been telling me lately we have to be more reassuring reaffirming within the truth that we already know within ourselves we have to come into a level of mastery and understand that instead of me sitting here and having a neg negative perspective on the life that i'm living let me change my perspective for the better so it can fit me and evaluate me instead of saying i i don't feel anything let me say i'm really at peace and i'm content with who i am at this present moment because i've healed me enough to allow myself to just be that's it and that's all instead of sitting here and being like why can't i ever be happy why can't i ever be blissful 
I'm not happy per se today, but I am. I'm not not happy, but I'm more at peace than I am at bliss with the life that I have now. I'm more grateful for the life that I have now. I'm more uh, appreciative of the journey that I'm at now and what it took to be at this space now. We have to learn how to just transmute and change our perspective. But I hope that was good for you. This was really good to me. And as I always say, I love you just as much as I love myself. And I love myself heavily so that my love shine through you. I have faith in you just as much as I have faith in myself. And I have faith in myself heavily. So let my faith in you shine through you. And you create something big, beautiful, and fun, abundant. Email me. Okay? <laughs> and I did want to say my sessions are still available. My bed and validate where we actually get to the truth. Not your truth. Not their truth. But the truth of the situation. And then we validate it. And we transmute it to a higher perspective. And then my self-acceptance. My self-acceptance self acceptance my self acceptance sessions are still available because a lot of us don't know who we are and I'm trying to get you to understand if you are rooted in pain or if you're rooted in you know what is it called <laughs> if you're rooted in pain or if you're rooted in love and the self reflection sections I love those the self reflection sections are actually us getting to acknowledge everything that you've been through a lot of the times we know who we are we know the answers you just need acknowledgement you need validation you need a lot of times some people do need that outside validation because we need to know like dang like am I healed enough or what was going on a lot of the times those self-reflections are really just me validating you me getting you to understand how you can appreciate yourself more and how you need to set up better tools to be more aware of the things that you have done you continue to do and the things that you're in the process of doing but yes but the ones i love the most is the vent and validate because i love when y'all come with the tea come with the tea sis but we're gonna turn that tea and we're gonna transmute it into something good and beautiful for yourself okay but i'll be available monday through friday i want to say monday through thursday but i'll do monday through friday because i love y'all so much monday through friday do not text me saturday and sunday do not email me saturday and sunday because i don't know who you are what can you promise say i saw that man walk i just don't know who he is <laughs> some 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 she said some <laughs> But I don't know you. <laughs> but Monday through Friday, I love you. You my gang. You my family. You my sis. I love you. We locked in. <laughs> but other than that, so please, please, please email me. My email is pinkyslifeadvice at gmail.com. You can Instagram DM me. Instagram DM me too. My inner conversations. I did get a new Instagram. I'm going to link it down below. And yeah, I'm available Monday through Friday. And you can email me again, Pinky's Life Advice at gmail.com. It will be linked below. And my Instagram is in the conversations. You can DM me. And yeah, I got you. I got you. I got you. I love you. Keep going. Keep processing. Keep ascending. Keep doing what you got to do. Okay. Bye, y'all.